Hey everybody, I'm Dylan and welcome back to Chiptorials. Today we're going to be talking about signal amplification, buffers, and analog calculation. And the best part about all of this is it comes within one package, operational amplifiers, otherwise known as op amps. Let's get into it. Op amps are an extremely common analog building block. They're used in so many circuits due to their configurability and versatility. The functionality of an op amp is completely dictated by its configuration, meaning one op amp can do multiple different things. For instance, an op amp can be set to be a signal amplifier or buffer, and they can also be used to maintain analog control loops. The amount of configurations that an op amp really has is too much to go over in one video. So for the sake of this video, we are going to be going over four. Of those four, we have a voltage input buffer for high impedance circuits, uh, non-inverting and inverting signal amplifier, and this is for signal attunement, and a comparator, and this is for basic analog logic to determine if signal A is greater than B, or vice versa. The PIC16F17576 family is Microchip's latest addition to analog focused microcontrollers. It features up to four integrated op amps, each configurable on the fly. On top of all this, th this family also introduces two new low power peripherals, being the low power voltage reference and low power comparator. This, when combined with the uh, analog peripheral manager, or APM, which is our peripheral that manages our analog functionalities within the microcontroller, and when not in use, actually power these peripherals off to conserve power, which actually enables the PIC16F17576 to be the ultimate design solution for low power applications. Right here in front of me, I have the box with the Curiosity Nano development board for the PIC16F17576, which is our new mini discovery board that allows you to get and work with the microcontroller immediately without having to make your own circuit or PCB. The board comes with an onboard switch, an LED, all the basic circuitry you would need for running your micro, and it also comes with a programmer and debugger. The board also ships with these two sets of headers that fit into these staggered holes, ensuring for a solder-free connection. Here we are in MPLAB Code Configurator, or MCC. Here's where we can actually add all our peripherals, such as the op amp module. Once we add our module, we can actually check out the four predefined configurations that MCC has set up for us. Of course, we have a custom configuration that allows a user to tailor their needs to whatever application they face, such as the positive and negative channel select, and even an internal resistor ladder selection for different gains. Now let's take a look at our other configurations we have. We have direct connection to pins, and also notice here we have a different schematic showing what's going on with our op amp module and what's going on with our pins. Unity gain buffer, non-inverting programmable gain buffer, and inverting programmable gain buffer. This flexibility allows engineers to tailor the op amp's behavior to their specific needs, whether it's for signal conditioning, sensor interfacing, or other analog processing tasks, the best part is that they are all internal. So you can change whatever configurations on the fly for whatever reason. Whether your application calls for it, or maybe you just want to swap out boards while keeping the MCU, you don't need a different circuit plan for op amps when it's something you can handle in your MCU itself. Let's check out a demo that actually displays what's going on. Here's a board connected to a series of potentiometers, a fake positive and a fake negative. This is to replicate our voltage inputs for the op amp outputs. We have set up an LED for this mini circuit, and this is going to be our physical representation of our signal. We'll also be watching our inputs and outputs via logic analyzer. The demo code is programmed with a script that waits for me to press this button to switch op amp configurations, which then it will prompt us via UR and Curiosity Nano LED of which change we've made and which config has been set up. As we adjust the potentiometers, you can see the LEDs change brightness, but I think it's better if we just get into it. So that let us know that we are on direct connect to pins, which is just a comparator circuit, meaning if I have this one at all more than the other one, it's a full degree up. We can switch to the other one, where this is going to be a voltage follower. 
and this follows our signal one. And then we can move on, and this is gonna be our non-inverting amplifier. And so you can notice that we can get a gradual change, but it's much higher than our signal one. Now let's take a look at our inverting amplifier, which uses our negative signal. And as it switches, it's the opposite. Operational amplifiers are indispensable components in the field of electronics. Offering a wide range of functionality in such a compact package, it just makes sense. The PIC16 F17576 family of products offers four internal op amps providing enhanced flexibility and performance along with our new low power peripherals. It just makes sense that you would consider this MCU family an excellent choice for various analog applications. And whether you're working on signal sensitive equipment like measurement systems or power management, understanding and utilizing op amps can significantly improve your designs. So if you wanna learn more information on our op amp peripheral, I'll be providing a link in the description for the board itself, the part, and the family page, which will give you information on the op amp peripheral, documentation like the data sheet, and even links to code examples. And if you want to test out the code example that we used in this video, I'll be posting that on MP Lab Discover. So be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments, and thank you so much for watching.